Hello and welcome. My name is Pia. Nice to meet you. And today we are joined by my little cutie. Oh, she just worked in my face. <laughs> I wanted to make this video for all of you that's out there wanting to get pregnant or all the first time moms or you nosy people that just want to get to know how my pregnancy was like and yeah we can go ahead and get started i hope you gain something out of this video whether that means more knowledge or just pure entertainment so i'm gonna go and start with the first trimester which to me was the most challenging if you guys didn't know i am a hustler i love to work and i'm obsessed with just moving around like if i am sitting down still for a very long period of time i'm gonna freak out i'm gonna want to do something either on my phone or maybe walk around something you just can't get me to be still and during my first trimester this is when i kind of experienced a lot of fatigue i napped more than i would normally and it kind of was this mental battle between me telling myself that hey you're pregnant you should calm down because your body is trying to create a miracle inside you versus you lazy piece of shit. i was in between those thoughts <laughs> But after, of course, hearing from my mom friends, after hearing from my mother-in-law and all the other people out there that care about me, they told me that it's totally normal to feel that way. And I looked it up, WebMD, if you know what I'm saying. And it's actually pretty normal to feel that tired during your first trimester. And that's honestly one of the toughest things that I had to go through during my entire pregnancy, believe it or not. I was expecting morning sickness, like you know what you see in the movies where they're just like head in the toilet and throwing up and then the, the husband kind of picks up the, the wife's hair and like, it's okay, honey, it's okay. But I actually did not experience that. I was pretty much fine. The nausea that I felt was more towards the foods that were put in front of me. Like for example, mangoes. I am obsessed with mangoes, but for some reason, during that first trimester, when you put a mango in front of me, I just started like getting all sick and like woozy and I'm like, get that mango away from me. Or the smell of chicken. It really made me sick. But then once the first trimester was done, I started gaining my energy back in the second trimester. And honestly, the second trimester was the most enjoyable for me at least because number one, I was gaining my energy back. Number two, I felt like I was glowing. Like there's no other way to put it. I just felt prettier and I liked how my body was looking even though my bump was kind of showing and kind of not. Every time I would put a dress on, like you could tell I was pregnant. And I mean, if I were to wear like an oversized hoodie, you couldn't tell, but I would sometimes, actually most of the time, purposefully <laughs> wear something that's very fitting to my body to show off my little tiny bump. And I felt super pretty. I don't know why, is that just like the second trimester thing? But that's how my second trimester went. All I remember was feeling so good about myself and gaining my energy back and being so happy that I got my energy back so I could start working again. Um, and yeah, it basically was like the best part of the pregnancy for me. Since I got my energy back the second trimester, I think it was also the part of my pregnancy when I decided to be more active. I, be before the pregnancy, believe it or not, I would only go to the gym like probably once or twice a week. It's I'm lucky if I go three times, but during my second trimester, I was on that. Shit. I was going to the gym three to four times a week. I was very consistent, barely missed a week of working out, and I was super active. And it made me feel really good because I felt stronger. I felt that my muscles were getting more toned, a little more cushion in the, all the right places, and I just felt really good. Second trimester was also the time that we got to see our baby officially on an ultrasound well we saw him the first trimester he was a little tiny bean but the second trimester was when we found out his gender and we actually saw an ultrasound of him looking like a human being like a baby human being 
not just like a tiny bean. It brought so much, I don't know, butterflies in my stomach. We felt super excited to meet him and it became more and more real. Then the third trimester came around, which is me in this current state. <laughs> But the beginning of the third trimester, I feel like the third trimester has two different parts to it. The first part isn't that bad. It's kind of similar to the second trimester. And this is just my experience, by the way. I've heard many stories from my other mom friends that they experience fatigue the entire pregnancy. That they experience a lot of morning sickness all throughout the nine months. But honestly, like this was my experience. And it was pretty easy on me and even my third trimester that came around it felt pretty similar to my second trimester where my energy was still there again like my third trimester has two parts i'm talking about the first part my the first part of my third trimester definitely felt similar to my second one where i just felt a lot of energy i was still working out my belly was growing but i was still going to the gym i would still wear dresses that would show off my bump and i still felt good but the second part of the third trimester came around you see this is when it started getting difficult not because of how i felt but it's like it, physically let me get into it so now that i'm in the second part of my third trimester i just feel so much heavier everything is a challenge like for example if i'm on the couch and i need to get up i would need assistance from jack either like pushing me off the couch or pulling me off the couch um, and even in the middle of the night if i like i wake up so many times in the middle of the night now and oh that's a that's another thing too during the second trimester i noticed that but it wasn't really like a big deal to me you know because it was so easy for me to just get up and go to the bathroom and go back to sleep but now during this part of my pregnancy it's hard to get up <laughs> it's painful to get up and it's hard to lay back down when i'm done peeing <laughs> so like it's a whole challenge just to pee in the middle of the night and that's just one of my experiences if you guys hear that in the back that's bella playing with my toy with her cat toy okay so aside from that my I don't know if this is TMI. Is it TMI? I don't think it's TMI. But my crotch is hurting a lot more now, especially when I first wake up. Throughout the day, it doesn't hurt. But then, for some reason, when I first wake up, it just is sore. And every time I wake up, I'm just like, from what? I've just been like sleeping on my side in one position, but for some reason, it happens. Next thing, my hands and feet are pretty swollen. My hands are not that bad, but as you can see, I'm not wearing my wedding ring because it got so swollen that my wedding ring was too small and I had to like yank it off of my finger. Here's a video of Jack putting butter all over my fingers just to get the ring off. It was a disaster, um, but we were able to take it off. My finger's still there, so that's, that's good. My feet are swollen. Don't want to show you that. Just want to spare you the time and my pain tolerance has gone completely low which i feel like isn't that a bad thing if like right now waxing hurts for me when before my pregnancy like i can take a wax strip off of my vagina like no problem but now it's just like i grab onto my esthetician's arm so hard because it's just so painful so that's what's up on the second part of my third trimester i've been eating a lot more <laughs> which shouldn't be a concern because I mean like I'm eating for two I guess but then I've done my research and it said I only really need like extra 300 calories for my baby so it, my baby can survive but like I've been eating a lot more and I hate to say that it's because I'm pregnant because literally my diet this third trimester has been First trimester and second trimester, I was really good. I was eating healthy. I was eating pro I was having protein shakes, vegetables, rice, and like meat, you know? But now the third trimester, it just completely went downhill. I've been eating a lot of cookies and milkshakes and in and out and Chick-fil-A and muffins. I actually finished three pounds of muffins within the past week. I don't want to talk about it but yeah this part of the pregnancy probably is the most um hmm i wouldn't say challenging but the most interesting and aside from that i mean my entire pregnancy just as a whole hasn't been hard at all and to be honest you kind of forget the little things like you know the pain that you feel in your back the sore crotch the swollen hands and feet 
the shortness of breath, the difficulty it is for you to move at the end of the day. It's like, it's so easy to forget about all that stuff because you know you're doing it for your baby. And I love my baby boy and I'm excited to meet him next week. I'm going into labor next week. Can you just believe that? And if there's any tips that I can give to new moms out there, first time moms like me for this pregnancy, definitely just keep calm. Feel free to just hear everybody out because everyone of your mom friends are gonna give you advice. <laughs> Everyone's gonna give you advice, everyone's gonna tell you their stories, but I want you to know that your pregnancy is very unique and how you feel is all up to you. Granted, your body is gonna be different from everybody else, but my best advice is for you to just do things that will make you feel good. Like, that's the reason why I was so motivated um, during the second trimester throughout my third trimester and I had just stopped recently but I was very motivated to work out because I knew I wanted to be stronger when it was time for me to go into labor and to push the baby out. I wanted to be strong during my third trimester and not have to rely on Jack carrying stuff for me. I mean just do all the things that are going to make you feel good and that's one of the things is exercise. Drink up a lot of water. Eat healthy. Don't be like me. I'm definitely just using my third trimester as an excuse to eat all the sugar that I can. So cross that off of your list because no. Indulgence is okay every now and then. It's okay for you to spoil yourself and stuff, but like don't overdo it like I am right now. And don't feel guilty for sleeping. I've taken a lot of naps all throughout this pregnancy and some days I honestly like celebrate a day when I don't take naps just like today because again I like to work <laughs> I like to work and every time I take a nap or take a break I feel bad and you shouldn't feel bad and I'm still trying to practice that within myself so just a reminder if you need to take a break if you need to take a breath if you need to take a nap and if you need to hibernate for a good five hours, do it because your body is doing all that it can right now to create a beautiful human being that you're gonna welcome into the world. So that is it. That's all I have for this video. I hope it was enjoyable for you and I hope I did good explaining it. <laughs> I really tried my best and I really tried to gather all my thoughts on what it was like for each trimester and yeah that's it baby jackson's gonna be here next week and i can't wait and thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me sticking around and for all your love and support i will see you in the next video bye